Happy Thursday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. I titled my message today with a question. Are you going through a crisis? This can help. So I'm referencing my favorite manual written by my, my friend and mentor, Dave Scogan, called the Dash Manual. So this is a segment that um, talks about challenges and crises. Because if you're facing a crisis right now or a challenge right now, I want you to know and understand that you're not alone. You're not being singled out. Life is happening. Life is continuously happening to each and every one of us. And you might just be in that time where it's you're facing adversity or you're facing crisis. But know that what's inside of you is so much stronger than what's in your way. So much stronger. And if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you have the Holy Spirit, which means you're an overcomer, right? You're more than a conqueror. You have the one who can give you wisdom. You have the one who tells you when to speak, the one who tells you when to be quiet, the one who tells you when you just need to, to just wait and be patient. So a crisis isn't necessarily always about something that you have done or something that you have created for yourself that has put you in that position, but know that you're much, so much stronger. Know also that things will go bad. Like we live in a fallen world. So things will go bad at some point. Adversity is a fact of life. Nobody escapes it. Everybody goes through it. And, um, you know, we just we just have to take things, learn from them, and know how to push through. With adversity, though, comes opportunities. So sometimes the adversity may come, and it may have been something that we, have, we had expressed as, you know, boy, I wish I could do this new thing. Man, I wish that someday I want to do X, Y, and Z. And then we don't realize that when that adversity comes, that it's actually pushing us towards the thing that we have been longing for, towards the opportunity that we have wanted, but maybe have been too scared to, to go forward. So adversity does present opportunities at times. You just got to be open enough to see them, the opportunities. Be aware. Be aware of what is happening. And then um, the situation that we're going on, that we face sometimes is hardly ever as bad as, as, bad as it seems. The Bible says there's always a way out, right? There's always a way out. So sometimes it takes maybe having maybe a mentor or somebody with more wisdom than us or somebody who has more experience to speak life into us, to help us see things maybe from an angle or a viewpoint that we have, we cannot see ourselves. Know that it will pass and know that there's always better times ahead. Everything does pass. Okay, so none of us passes through the experience of our days unblemished. Nobody does. Everybody will face crisis at one point. Everybody will face adversity at one point. Good times, bad times, life is just always happening, right? And life leaves a mark. It's just whether or not, you know, how we choose to, to plow through the, the, the adversity that we're facing or how we choose to plow through the, the challenges that we are dealing with. And know that each one will make you grow, right? You, you should come out better than when you went into the crisis. And then let's talk about disappointments. So disappointments are not dead ends. I love what um, one of the authors wrote in the book, um, You're Awesome. He says, always leave everything with a dot, 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 meaning that there's always more to come. When you put a period, that says there's an end to something, right? An end to something. When you put a dot, 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 say you may not be where you are, where you want to be, but you think, but you, there's always movement. There's always something better that can that can come after that. Disappointments are only delays. Sometimes we wonder why why can I move forward? Why does this keep happening? You know, they are simply a delay sometimes. And sometimes, typically, when there's a delay, something so much better is is waiting for us on the other side. Disappointments are just stop signs. Sometimes you may be going down the wrong path. And that disappointment might be a way to say, hey, wait a minute, you're supposed to be over here. And somehow you ended up over there. Sometimes we take a wrong turn. Or we didn't hear right. Or sometimes we just make mistakes. So just look at that as a, as a stop sign. Disappointments are times of adjustment. How many times have we had to pivot this year, right? And sometimes in a time of disappointment, you can just say, hey, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to pivot. How how can I do this better? How can I do this better? Learn to adjust. Disappointments are tests. 
and you know this is especially true when you are say if you're if you have a home-based business you there's going to be many times that you're going to be disappointed it's just inevitable you're going to be disappointed okay and there it is how much do you want the thing that you want bad enough and this goes with anything if whether it's it's a weight loss journey whether it's whether it's um you know whatever you've decided any time that you make big goals to know that you're going to get tested and you're going to stand the test of time if you know for a fact that the thing that you said you're going to do is worth fighting for you're going to get tested everybody has disappointments every person faces roadblocks the one who succeeds is the one who will not quit so as long as you tell yourself i'm never going to quit Okay, quitting is not an option. Because if you quit, then you fail. But if you keep if you keep trying and then you've got disappointments along the way, know that you're just gonna get up and you're gonna you sometimes you just need to a shift in perspective. Sometimes it's more the mindset, right? But know that you if as long as you put your mind to saying, I will never quit, you will make it. So are you in a crisis? Are you dealing with a challenge? Know that you're not alone. I hope this information has been helpful to you and I will see you tomorrow.